Amid massive university student protests across the U.S. against Israel's war in Gaza, Columbia University's president is in a renewed wrangle. The university's oversight panel criticized the clamping down of pro-Palestinian protests on campus premises. They have called the crackdown contrary to the norms and traditions of the Ivy League school. This comes as President Nemat Minoshe Shafiq continues to face calls for resignation from the Republicans over not being able to dismiss the protests. Pro-Palestinian demonstrations across the U.S. campuses have echoed protests around the world. Students in France and Germany have joined the calls to condemn Israel's actions. Protest encampments are in place on more than a dozen college campuses across the U.S., including Harvard, the NYU, UCLA, the University of Pennsylvania, George Washington, MIT, and others. Hundreds of students have been arrested so far. Clashes erupted between demonstrators and police at Paris's Sciences Po University. In neighboring Germany, Berlin police were seen clearing a pro-Palestinian camp set up in front of the German parliament and the chancery. Authorities across the U.S. are struggling to contain the protests. There are reports of police using excessive force. In some cases, they have also used chemical irritants and tasers to disperse the demonstrators. Students at California's Stanford University have joined the protests. Hundreds of students staged protests in the school before setting up encampments. By Friday, there were at least a dozen tents set up with signs demanding the end of the war. Protesters at the University of California in Los Angeles protested for a second day on Friday asking for a permanent ceasefire. At the University of Southern California, the graduation ceremony there was cancelled, keeping in view the safety concerns of the campus. At the George Washington University, protesters refused to give up, saying they will not rest until they divest. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says that these protests over Israel's war in Gaza are a hallmark of American democracy. But Blinken also criticized what he calls silence about Hamas. Across the globe, in Paris, Students blocked access to the prestigious Sciences Po University over the war. They demanded that the institution condemns Israel's actions. While they chanted slogans in support of Palestine. We are asking, as is traditional at Sciences Po, which normally takes a stand and condemns violation of international law, well, they haven't done it for what Israel is doing in Palestine. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.